Hello everybody, I'm Andy with Liminal Entertainment Technologies, and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect QLab to Zoom OSC so you can make cues that can send different commands to Zoom, like I want to pin somebody, I want to spotlight somebody, set their mute states on and off, but we're going to keep it real simple and I'm just going to show you how to build a network queue in QLab that can talk to Zoom OSC. So let's get into it. So here we are in QLab, and we want to go ahead and create a uh, command that allows us to set something in Zoom OSC. Now in the other videos that we've done, we've always been showing how to use uh, Zoom OSC and the controlling program on the same device. With this video, I wanna change it up a little bit and I'm gonna have QLab on my Mac talk to Zoom OSC on my PC, just so you can see how OSC is powerful when it is used over the network. So I'm gonna go over to the settings cog wheel on the bottom right, and I'm gonna go over to the network tab. I'm gonna create a patch. I'm gonna name it Zoom OSC and I'm going to say this is on my PC. I'm going to leave the address and the network as automatic, and the destination is going to be the private IP address of my PC. So if I go over to my PC and I open up command prompt, I can type in the command ipconfig, IP config, hit enter, and here is the private IP address of my PC, which happens to be running Zoom OSC at this time. So back in QLab, I'm going to type in 192.168.1.49. And over here where it says 53,000, this is the port, the OSC port. How do we know which port we want to use? Well, if we look at Zoom OSC and we go over to the, uh, the settings page, you'll see that there's a transmission IP, a transmission port, and a receiving port. And the transmission IP and the transmission port are used for when you want to send commands out of Zoom OSC into other applications. But right now we're interested in having QLab talk to Zoom OSC. So we're going to use the receiving port, which by default is 9090. So I'm going to type in 9090 into QLab, and then I'm going to hit done. Now I need to actually create a queue. So I'm going to go over to this queue in the center here. It's called a network queue. It's these concentric rings in the center of the screen. I'm going to hit that, and it creates a network queue. I'm going to go right over to the settings page and I'm going to make sure that I have the patch I created, Zoom OSC on my PC, selected. And here I'm going to type the command and I'm going to use spaces, just like it says here at the bottom, to designate the payload. So if you remember OSC, it has an address and a payload. And in QLab, the way you do that is you type the address in and then you put a space for every payload that you want to use. This is a little different than the other controllers that we've shown you. It's a more uh, pure implementation of OSC. So uh, I'm going to look up the API document for Zoom OSC that tells me all the different commands I can use. And I am going to want to pin somebody on screen in this video. I specifically, I want to pin Jane. So I am going to look for the command that allows me to pin somebody. And that is here. This is the pin command. So if I read up a little bit more on how exactly I can specify people, I see I have to use the username to be able to set a username field as a string. And I'll have a separate video coming out where I show you exactly how to read this document so you know how to construct the addresses. But for now, all we're going to do is we're going to type in in QLab slash zoom slash username slash pin space quote Jane end quote. This will allow me to send a string Jane to Zoom OSC on my main computer when I fire this queue. So if I click out of the computer and I click on the queue and I hit the go button, you'll see that Jane gets pinned to my primary screen. So now let's have some fun. Let's copy this queue a couple of times and let's change the people we're pinning. So I'll put John in and I will put Liz in. And now if I'm sitting back in QLab and I fire uh, let's go back to the gallery view just with uh, the user interface here. And now if I start my queue list and I type, uh, go to Q1, Q1, go, Q2, go, Q3, go. Now we've just pinned three people in succession just by firing through my queue lab list. This is, as you can see, extremely powerful when you want to build uh, queues that are associated with music or playback or other things that you would use QLab for, particularly in the world of theater. This can be an extremely powerful workflow for serialized control of Zoom.